Hey there, this is Stu Kaufman. I'm a physical educator, and I am your fitness coach. And welcome to the last video in this series. This is Fitness Plan Part 5, Progression and Overload. Now, in order to see results over time during your fitness program, you have to apply the principle of overload. What happens is, if you do the same workout the same way over and over again, you'll reach what's called a plateau, and you will not continue to see results, because your body gets used to what you're doing, and it adjusts, which kind of stinks for you, but in order to continue to see results, you have to apply the principle of overload. And what overload is, is increasing your exercise of intensity. Now, here's how this works. Let's say you started out weightlifting, and one of the exercises you were doing in your weightlifting was you were doing squats. And you were doing three sets of 10 reps using 15 pound dumbbells. Now you're going to have to increase your intensity by adding maybe an extra set. You could add an extra set of squats. You could add more reps or you could add more weight. All of those things would increase your intensity. An example for cardio could be, I was doing 40 minutes of Zumba, now I'm going to increase my time to 50 minutes. Or maybe you'll decide to increase the, the intensity of how you're doing the exercises. So, um, before you might work harder while you're doing the Zumba session. Now, in order for this to continue working, you have to apply the principle of progression. And progression is applying the principle of overload that we just talked about over time. So, here's an example. For weightlifting, let's say that every four weeks, you're going to up your weights in the squats by five pounds. So you have a plan so that every four weeks you'll increase your intensity. Cardio, you might say every four weeks I will increase my swimming time by 10 minutes. So every four weeks you're adding 10 more minutes to the time that you swim. And that will apply the principle of progression. Hey, so now you are ready. You are totally ready to write your own fitness plan. You have all the information you need and you can write a complete fitness plan. Now, if you write it out and make it specific and you stick with it and you add a healthy eating plan, you can reach any fitness goal that you make for yourself. And it won't be impossible anymore because you will have a plan. Hey, this is Sue Kaufman, and I have been happy to bring this stuff to you, and I hope it helps you. See you later.